news. And turning to health news now, a new COVID variant is spreading in Western Europe and could become a dominant strain in the U.S. this fall and winter. It's known as XEC. The virus was first detected in Germany. It's already spreading here. But the CDC says so far it only accounts for just under 6% of U.S. cases. Every new COVID variant, though, makes this virus harder to control through vaccines because of the mutations. Health experts say they still don't know a lot about this new strain yet, but let's try to get some more information. They do say it's highly transmissible. However, there's no evidence it's more serious or causes more severe disease than the other strains. We have America Tonight medical contributor and Forbes contributor, Dr. Omar Awan with us tonight to break this down. So Dr. Awan, what do we know about this variant? Well, we do know, as you said, it's very highly transmissible. It started in Germany, it's spreading across Europe. It's come to the United States. It's come to about 25 states here. And about five to 6% of the cases that we're seeing currently are from this XEC uh, variant or, or subtype of the Omicron variant. So uh, definitely something to keep an eye on. We still need to know a lot more about this, but the good news is, is that although it is transmissible, it seems like symptoms are very mild, just like all of the other Omicron variant subtypes. So that means that, you know, typically if you get this, you should expect to have a fever, a cough, maybe a runny nose, sore throat, potentially loss of taste and smell, but usually the symptoms tend to be more mild than previous, more serious variants like the Alpha and the Delta. So that's the good news with XEC. Dr. Rowan, I mean, we have been down this road before and we know from past experience, once a new strain is identified in other parts of the world, it's not long before it's here in the U.S. And we can learn a lot from how it's spread in other parts of the world. So how concerned are you about this new variant, even if, if the symptoms are seemingly more mild, like you just laid out? I think we always have to be concerned, Maritza, when there's a new mutation, it's causing disease and it's spreading, right? It's part of COVID-19 and we don't know. So whenever we don't know about these things, we have to be somewhat concerned and we have to watch it very carefully. But with that said, I think we also have to have a little bit of optimism because this is the Omicron subtype uh, strain and usually Omicron subtype strains tend to be more mild. And the good news also is, is that if you get vaccinated, the vaccine should potentially be protective against this XEC strain because remember that the vaccine or the new updated COVID-19 vaccines targeted the KP2 strain, which is also part of the Omicron family. So it may not be 100% effective at controlling XEC, but you can bet that it's going to provide some protection against this. So although we need to be concerned and vigilant about it and monitoring it, I think there's a lot of optimism that we can have uh, because it, I don't think it's going to cause severe disease. Dr. Wan, as we know, things, life with COVID has changed so much since 2020 and beyond. Um, and we do know that there is not only vaccine hesitancy, but I think also we've reached a point of vaccine apathy. People are not rushing out to get those shots or they think I don't need it or I'm okay or I've had COVID so many times. What would you say to those people? I would say, honestly, it depends on one's risk, right? So, you know, there are certain people that have had COVID-19 in the past. There are people that have some level of immunity, but there are also those that are at high risk for COVID, right? So these are people that are older. These are people that have chronic medical conditions like diabetes, heart disease, lung disease. There are many people, many, many individuals with weakened immune systems. And that means people that are on steroids. That means people that are organ transplant recipients, even those with cancer. So I'm sure you know many people in that category, as I do, right? So for those people, it's absolutely necessary to get the vaccine so that you can, you know, optimize your protection against COVID and all the new variants that will come and continue to come because the virus is mutating. So I think we have to have trust in the vaccines. Vaccines have saved millions of lives. You know, there's studies that show that the COVID-19 vaccine is responsible for saving over 14 million lives. And I think that's a really big deal. So uh, we have to look at that, trust the science and uh, encourage people to get it. And we've seen uh, with time hospitalizations go down, severity of illness um, become you know, less severe, more mild. 
And I read that this new strain is a combination of two other strains and, and that researchers actually think this one started after someone was infected by two different COVID variants. So my question for you is, as these evolve and as they mutate, is there risk of it becoming more severe? It absolutely can. And that's the scary part about this, Maritza. We don't know. So we don't. It absolutely is right that this sort of represents a recombinant uh, type where we have two different genomes or two different genetic material that have been mixed into one. So this results in a mutation. And we don't know how transmissible this is going to be. We don't really know how serious this is going to be. Only time will tell. But with history on our side and all the different Omicron variants have not resulted in very severe disease, but that doesn't mean that it can't. So that's why we have to monitor this very carefully and we have to do all that we can to help control and contain the virus. And that means getting vaccinated. That means staying at home when you're sick. That means washing your hands frequently. That means if you're in crowded indoor areas, potentially consider wearing a mask. We have to do all these things to protect not only ourselves, but others as well. Okay, America Tonight medical contributor, Dr. Omar Awan, thanks so much for your time, my friend. We will be right back.